What is up, everybody, and welcome to the Mind, Body, and Pockets podcast, where we take lessons learned from people in the marching arts community to help you level up your life. I'm Eddie. And I'm Paula. And on this podcast, we're going to get to know the individuals who make up the marching arts community. They'll share their experiences in and out of the activity and the mental, physical, and financial lessons they've learned along the way. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Mind, Body, and Pockets. We're at episode 15, and it's October. 2020. Yes. October 2020, Q4. The election's coming up. Halloween's coming up. Holidays are coming mm-hmm. up. We're almost there. We're almost yeah. to the end of the year, but not quite yet. There's still a good chunk of time left. Yeah, it's a really easy time to get distracted, too. Mm-hmm. You know, there's a lot of things going on in the world, a lot of uncertainty, and... We're all kind of living in this weird land. Are we back to work? Are we not back to work? Are we in school? Are we out of school? There's a lot of ups and downs all over the country, and it's it's really easy to get your eyes off the road. Absolutely. Know? And, you know, there's all kinds of crazy stuff on the news, on social media, all yeah. kinds of... It, it really depends uh, what you watch, too. You're going to see more of that. So if there's oh, yeah. negative things on your feed that you don't want to see, you should get that off of there because it's just going to be this constant yeah. stream of, of things that, you know, don't make you feel very good. Absolutely. It's, yeah. It's, a, it's the time to audit right now, you know, audit your social is. media, audit yeah. what you're actually looking at and mm-hmm. really make sure you're doing your homework on the things that you do want to find out about, you know, it's just an interesting time. And, you know, that was what, what you said about kind of auditing. Mm-hmm. I love that. I've, been doing that yeah i think we all go through kind of like little patches of time where we kind of take check of okay but there's nothing wrong with that no like you shouldn't feel bad about that if if you're seeing things that you don't want to see or you know following anything that you don't want to have in your life Mm -hmm. it's okay to to get rid of that and get more of the things that you do want to see yeah absolutely we have afraid to basically don't be afraid to delete some folks they'll be afraid to unfollow some peeps (laughs) (laughs) don't feel guilty about anything you know it's just um it's about your health mentally Mm -hmm. physically you know you just got to make sure you got your eyes on what you need yeah um to make things successful for you definitely yeah so So go for it i was just gonna say like this time of year uh you know, holidays are coming up and it's generally a time where a lot of us slow down because mm. we know, OK, we're going to have Thanksgiving and family over. And I know things will be a yeah. little different with with the times with coronavirus and everything. But, you know, t- typically this time of year, we, we tend to relax into the end of the year. Mm-hmm. And we've been having conversations lately about how we want to do the opposite yeah and that's usually the plan right but it's so hard with just i guess kind of how the end of the year is set up you got halloween at the end of this month where notoriously is about candy and costumes Mm. and parties and whatever then you got you know the the thanksgiving coming up at the end of the next month and then you know the holiday season coming up after that and it's just the time to spend money the time to see some family the time to eat the time to play the time to break your diet to have some cheat meals you know let's go back to halloween for a second favorite halloween candy favorite halloween candy i'm gonna have to go with smarties smarties yeah that's like the nostalgic like what yeah what do you thought i was gonna say reese's (laughs) reese's or the hershey's with almonds or something i mean no, Smarties? No, like when you you said Halloween. Okay, like that, those okay, are just good okay. candies. All right, all right. So Halloween. Smarties. Yeah, Smarties. Yeah, I learned MVP exclusive. I <laughs> learned something right, today. Yeah. All right, very cool. How Smarties. about yourself? For Halloween? Yeah. I don't really associate any candy particularly with Halloween. What? I, I was always like a Twix, Snickers. What about like Candied corn. I hate like, candy corn. But that's candy Halloween. Candy corn is disgusting. What? Yes. Sorry, Mary Souter. He <laughs> loves candy corn. Candy Mary. corn is gross. But yeah, I'm more <laughs> like a Snickers, uh, Milky Way, even Kit Kat. Those are the, the classics to me. 100 grand, very underrated. Mm, but whatchamacallit? Do you know what a m- whatchamacallit is? I do. I don't really know what's in it, but <sighs> I've had them. 
Anyway, folks, getting <laughs> back on track. Let us know All below right. what your favorite yeah. Halloween <laughs> candy is. Getting in the, in the spirit of things. Uh, yeah, right that'll up. keep you a little more distracted. Yeah. <laughs> You're hey, welcome. No, nothing wrong with, with that sometimes. Uh, you know? But on a serious note, this episode is more about taking action. You know, the end of the year, it is an easy time to slide into the comfort zone and get mm. really, really comfy in your snuggie towards the end of the year yeah. and get, like, really... That hoodie weather. Chill, you know. Except it's, not in Florida, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, but um, almost, you know, we're almost. Uh, I'm wearing a hoodie. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and that, that's part of the problem, you know, because we usually get into that new year, new me mode mm-hmm. when it's a little too late, especially because we've already slipped so far backwards. Yeah, because <laughs> you know the new year's coming, so you're like, well, I'll just keep eating this yeah. stuff. And you're <laughs> looking at October's after effect in December and you're like, oh right. no, look at all these things happening. We're, oh, and you haven't even realized what's happened yet. Mm-hmm. Come January, then you try to make it a huge, like hard, sharp left turn. And yeah. And like we've both been there. Oh, yeah. Like this is not calling anybody out. Like no. we're calling this ourselves out. Talking from experience. Yeah. Of yeah, us. For sure. But this, this, it's really cool what you said because we are in beginning of October, mm-hmm. depending on when you're listening to this, but you have the opportunity to catch that before it happens. Oh, yeah. Oh, right? we just did the math, too. We, yeah. oh, well, Siri did. We asked <laughs> Siri how many uh, days were left. Shout out to Siri. <laughs> <laughs> to, from Monday, the 12th of October, mm-hmm. till the end of the year, and it was 80 days left. Around so the 80 world. 80 days, yeah. It's almost yeah. like a drum corps season, you know. Mm-hmm. It's about 90-ish, 80-ish days right. long, depending on what drum corps you're in. But mm-hmm. think about the amount of work you could get done in a drum corps season. Yeah, <laughs> a lot. <laughs> just, and that's just getting pulled through the the, the process, you know. <laughs> yeah, just getting just getting pushed through it, just, right. just showing up and and almost being pushed to get better instead mm-hmm. of yourself actually going through a process f- towards your specific goals. You right, know? which is interesting because at drum corps you really don't have a choice. Mm. Like, yeah, you could like quit and go home, but once you're there, you're in your bubble. And the benefit to that versus being in the real world is you don't generally have those outside distractions. Oh, that's a good yes, point. you know, things can happen. You might lose a family member, something terrible. You know, there's, there's things that happen while you're on the road. But for the most part, you are just away from distractions and you're living in this little world. Yeah. And you only have a certain amount of things that you need to do every day. Yeah. And they're, those are your specific goals and mm-hmm. they're being given to you. Yes. You know, and they're all priorities. Right. And there's not really anything on the back burner when it comes to drum corps. It's all very specific goals, mm-hmm. very target oriented and with a very specific end date to it. Right. Which we kind of have right now being the end of the year. You know, mm-hmm. do we want to get to that point and be like, all right, new year, new me. <laughs> or right. do we want to kind of push the pedal to the metal now to see yes. how far we can get. By the so end you're of the year. already like hitting your stride by yeah. the time the clock hits. Midnight. At that point you've got momentum, mm-hmm. you know, instead yeah. of trying to build it at the beginning of the year after a party. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like the, the day you wake up after a party, you're like, mm. Oh, where am I? Oh, the yeah. reality. Now I have to go to work or I have to do this or that. It's the same kind of thing. Like you've yeah. had all these celebrations, which are wonderful and much needed, especially this year. Yeah. But, Enjoy. You know, you can kind of get blindsided mm-hmm. when that's all over and, and reality hits you and you're like, OK, now what? Now I have to, like, get everything together. Oh, yeah. So I'm I'm looking forward to what we've been talking about and just ramping everything up so that we're at a place that we're proud with at the end of the year to start 2021. The best that we've ever started yeah. a year. And literally anyone and everyone can do that if they mm-hmm. start right now yes. and just take it to the end of the year, whatever those things are. You but know. 2020 has been such a terrible year. <laughs> Why not ride that wave, <laughs> right? Yeah. No, I, I think you know there has been a lot of interesting things happening this year and, and situations for people. And, and I'm mm-hmm. not making light of that at all. But I'm just saying, like, we can control what, what only what we can control. Absolutely. So, there are certain things that we can take a hold of and make better. And to use the excuse of, well, 2020 is just, you know, it's just, just a, a bad wash. year. Yeah. yeah, let's let's start new 2021. There's something to saying, no, I'm going to make the rest of this year. How great can I be? How great can I make the end of this year? And how much better is that going to set me up mm-hmm. for 2021? Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's just think back right now. How many times have you started a new year mm-hmm. and failed? Almost all of them. Most, <laughs> right? Yeah. And, and even then, 
you fail at something, right? Mm-hmm. Because we all do that New Year's resolution, even when sure. we we try not to. You know, there's always something. Right. There's always something. Yeah. But it's usually trying to figure out what is the focus. You know, what is the goal? And myself, my big problem is I, I try to achieve too much. You know, there's way too many things on that list. It's like, I'm going to try this and that and this and that and this. Yes. And then you get overwhelmed and then something fails and then the other thing fails. And then you're like, okay, well, I'm a failure. <laughs> I don't right. Know and yeah. then you fall into this state of like, well, whatever. I, I couldn't do it. So I'll just yeah. wait till the next phase. Like or wait till the next along. Monday. Yeah. Or wait till the exactly. next quarter. Or wait till the summer. And then the New summer's month. here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then next thing you know, it's October 2021. You're like, oh, well. Uh. Right. And then so. Yeah. <laughs> and, w- and this is why we're making this episode because we're trying to go in the opposite direction. You know, we're trying to put the pedal to the metal and see what we can actually do to move forward and define those goals yeah. for ourselves because we all have things on the back burner, you know, yes. every single one of us. And let's talk about that. What, what is, what do we mean by the back burner? If you don't know what we mean? Yeah. So the back burner is, I mean, imagine a stove and you have your, your burners up front. Most of us have, you know, four or five burners on our, on our stoves and you're paying attention. You're mainly using the ones in front. Yeah. If something gets finished, you move it to the back yeah. or if you're just not dealing with it, yeah. It's it's sitting there in the back. It's not at the front of your mind. Yeah. So when we set things in our life on the back burner, they're just kind of, yeah, I'll get to that later. Yeah, it's whatever. I thought about it, but I have to do this right now. I, yeah. I can't worry about that. It's and it just kind of, yeah. right. It's not a priority and it just kind of sits there. Yeah. But it's still there. It's still there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and you can still smell it. It's still, still sizzling. Taking up space. Yeah, yeah. It's still taking up space. Yeah. It's still taking up and that's the thing about the things that are on the back burner in our lives. You know, sometimes we get so caught up on the things that are right in front of us mm-hmm. that we don't realize how many things are in the back burner. Yes. Not realizing we only have a certain amount of spots <laughs> back Right, there. exactly. And eventually you have to clear the stove, yeah. right? And mm. Things just get lost forever. That's a word right there. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> But no. seriously, though, you you have to make room for new things or you just have to figure out what is that priority? What is that mm-hmm. thing like drum corps at the front of the stove at drum corps? It's very simple, you know, drill, music, choreography like that. It's very right. clear. Yeah. In real world, though, we got to define those things ourselves. Exactly. And it gets a little harder to be able to do those things if we're not really conscious of the ups and downs and the peaks and valleys that happen in our lives. So. Absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, many of us. I want to say everyone at yeah. some point has put something on the back burner, whether, you know, yeah. it, it could be a, a plethora of things. Yeah. Um, but it's very easy to do that. I know at least for me, it, it causes added stress sometimes mm-hmm. and almost like a disappointment in the back of my mind. Oh like, yeah. I said I would do this and I didn't, or man, I had this idea and I just, you know, I just kind of let it, let it go. And, it's kind of disappointing. Yeah. And it's usually the bringing those things forward usually fixes the stress. It usually answers mm-hmm. some of it. It usually kind of alleviates the problem because yes. really you're focusing on that gumbo you're cooking. I love that we talk about gumbo so much here. Yeah. what is Gumbo <laughs> and rabbit holes. <laughs> we, we say those things a lot. But you're so focused on that gumbo that you're actually cooking. Mm-hmm. And there's so many things on the outside of it that you end up being so overwhelmed and not realizing what you're actually cooking all at the same time. And you're yeah. kind of like half baking that idea Mm. you're kind of putting in the wrong ingredient in that idea you're mixing two bowls that don't belong together now we're just ranking on my cooking right now (laughs) (laughs) but uh no it's it's true you you there's just too many things going on at once and you can't give your your full attention to everything so a lot of it just kind of gets pushed by the yeah. wayside. Especially for yeah. our community, you know, there's so many creatives, so many musicians, mm-hmm. dancers, choreographers, you know, uh, videographers, photographers, yeah. you know, there's so many creative people that it's easy to get overwhelmed with the ideas that come to front of the mind. Mm-hmm. Um, so this is the time. This is a time to actually define those goals and figure out what those things are, yeah. whether it's a business idea or a career move or some sort of interest or hobby that you had in the mind that's that's now on the back burner, some mm-hmm. sort of dream yeah. that you had, you know, it could be a, a workout, going to the gym, you yeah. know, it could be like a, a bill that you've been ignoring oh, and that second notice, <laughs> yeah. third notice, it could be getting the checkup at the doctor or a test mm, that you know you're supposed to get, but you don't, you're afraid to do it. Yeah, there's there's so many things yeah. that could be on the back burner. It doesn't necessarily have to be like a, a dream or an idea mm-hmm. or it could be a task that you've been putting off, yeah. but you know you have to get done. And when you talked about bringing it to the front, uh, to the front of the stove or the front of your mind, 
even if it's something that you're kind of dreading doing. Oh, yeah. Once you take care of it or <sighs> you start the process, right? It's like. Just, just thinking about my taxes. Yeah. Like that. Yes. I'm done. It's, yeah. It's just like this burden lifted off of you. So it's something that was almost paralyzing at one point now gives you a little bit of freedom. Yeah, because we all have things that come up, too. You know, it's not necessarily mm -hmm. sometimes that we're scared to do it. It's just, you know, life gets in the way. Things yeah. happen. There's yeah. a, a, a child comes into the mix. There's a, an accident that happens. There's right. an emergency that comes up. There's all sorts of things that happen that, that creates that back burner um, right. pile up on us. But we Sometimes, like, self-doubt, too. Mm. You start to question, well, maybe I'm not good enough or yeah, smart enough one. or whatever. And, and, yeah, it can just kind of hold us back from yeah. from taking care of those things i think it just yeah. be flat out scary to do you know whatever those mm -hmm. things are there there are things that hold us back whether it's mentally or physically or financially that hold us back but yeah. that's why we're here that's why my body and pockets are, is Definitely. is here talking about these things because you're not here alone we've all been through it folks yes. we've all been through it for sure um actually this podcast was one of those things that were on the back burner actually mm -hmm. for a long time yeah. and the question kept coming up when are we going to do it well this is happening in our lives or, well, mm -hmm. we need to adjust with that or, well, we're not ready for that yet or let's take care of this first. Right. And we're moving or we're doing, yeah, yeah, there's so many things that, that can pop in, but uh, I'm so glad that we made this happen Yeah, because there have been so many things for me personally that I've had this idea or this thought or whatever and I just kind of didn't follow through with it. Or yeah. didn't didn't believe in myself enough to to follow through, or hit a roadblock, and didn't understand how to do something or know the answer. And instead of re, uh, reaching out to somebody that could maybe help me, I just kind of put it on hold. Mm. So I'm so glad and honestly proud of ourselves to take those steps to make it happen. And it didn't happen overnight. Yeah. It it took many like small steps. Okay, we have to get this. We have to learn about this. We have to you know, there's so many things to yeah. make the product happen, but just like just taking those first couple of steps was really rewarding. And I think it made us see like, OK, I think this is possible. Yeah. And then you get a little further and you're like, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it is. And then you do it and it's like, OK, awesome. Yeah. You know, it feels so good to, to do that. Absolutely. And little do you know, like it's coming closer and closer to the front of the stove and you end up cooking that with some other things and it adds into the mix pretty well, but mm -hmm. you have to bring it forward. And yeah. and really the click for us was, I forget what we were listening to, but that was the eye opener. I think where we both had that conversation of like, okay, it's either now or never mm -hmm. was when we heard, um, it's arrogant to think we'll have another day on earth to get things done. That was the boom. That was yeah. the moment right there. That was the... That was the cherry on top mm -hmm. for us, you know. It was that that realization. Um, uh, well, I guess the reminder that tomorrow right. is not promised, you know. It's and like a if not now, when. Yeah, and it, why not? <laughs> right. You know? And what what's truly holding you back? And would you be happier tomorrow knowing that you started, or would you be regretting the end of the year knowing that you didn't? You know. Yeah, and you know it's interesting, like the time that we really developed this was like right when the pandemic had started mm -hmm. and you know, it had been an idea for a long time. And I want to think that we would have gotten this done if, if, if we didn't have uh, this time, but I don't know. I don't know. Like either. we really yeah. dove in and, and use this to our advantage. Yeah, it was um, an opportunity for it sure. It was an opportunity. Absolutely. Um, looking back now, I'm just, so glad that we started when we did yeah. because like you said we'd just be sitting here in october like yeah. hey should looking we do at this? the cluttered back burner right you know, yeah. um and, and and really contemplating what to bring forward you know and it, but it would have been much harder to do that now than figure it out slowly then yeah. you know because it's been progressively getting better and better and easier for us to figure this out mm -hmm. knock on wood <laughs> right. but um there's a lot of learning that happens within that that time you know there's a lot of right. things that you you end up adjusting to correctly because you're you've started earlier than later you know mm. and it ends up being way better for you when you take action than when you procrastinate on those actual goals agreed know? yeah and, and think about it like what are those things that are stopping you to 
actually do those things? You know, what what are those goals for us? We were honestly a little bit scared to put ourselves out there like that to be yes. able to connect with people. Does anybody want to listen? Is this conversation worth it? Or who right. who's this for? Which was a big part for us. You know, mm-hmm. it was really defining who is this for. And, and once we locked <sighs> that in, it was like we have to do this. Yeah. And I feel like that was really the final like kick in the butt. Yeah, because we were both so passionate about what this could be mm-hmm. what we what we envision this to be and the people that it's for yeah. it was like well we just yeah we it became it. not about us anymore right it was exactly. above us for and, sure and i think when it's not about you that's when you have the potential to really make a difference yeah absolutely you know? it can't be about you like what are you giving what what is what are you giving others what are you doing for others yeah. and from that knowing that you've made a difference for somebody even it's one person like that's the reward mm-hmm. to me like that's the feeling you get is is just so awesome yeah and, and that's the question you know for, at least for us what what were we waiting on right and, and the, <laughs> the answer for us was you know 2021 it's going to be a little bit easier <laughs> then yeah. and then everything started going down and right, the question right. became if not now, then when, you mm-hmm. know, because who knows that 2021 is going to be a thing? Who knows that 2021 yeah. has anything in store for us if we don't make it happen, you know? Mm-hmm. And it's still not too late. You still have 80 days, right. and you know what can get done in a drum corps season. That is a long time. Yes. With focused energy, mm-hmm. that is a long time, you for know? Sure. And don't be scared, you know? If it is something yeah. scaring you, we were scared, and we're yes. so glad that we yeah. put ourselves out there because it's not about us. Mm-hmm. It's so much bigger than us, and and we could define that in a whole other episode because yeah. that's it gets really deep, and it's really so much about family and friends, and mm-hmm. and what we're trying to leave behind as a catalog, you know, right. for our nieces, nephews, our family. That's you know, gonna be learning from us one day, sure. you know, or want to learn. F- about us someday, mm-hmm. you know, and I wish I could go back and listen to a podcast from my great grandfather or something. And be right. like, man, what was going on then? What yeah. was 2020 like? Whoa, you know. Right. We, um, we live in such an interesting time right now. We're yeah. so blessed when it comes yeah. to technology and things like that, just to be able to to do this yeah. without, you know, back in the day, it's like you back needed in the day. <laughs> you needed a a job with like a radio station or you needed to Mm. be brought onto a TV show. You couldn't really just do this or document. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So we have this, uh, ability to do this. So why not take advantage? And that's, we we encourage you guys to really, really go out there and and Mm -hmm. go for it. Whatever that thing is, just document it. And it really, really could help the future. Like that's one big thing for me. I know I mentioned it right now and this is, we do have this plan for a future episode, but it's my niece and my nephew, you know, right. they're, and they're really young and they don't, mm-hmm. they barely, one of, them, one of them barely recognizes me, you know, he <laughs> sees me on FaceTime usually, and that's right. about it. But yeah. the question becomes, what do I want him to stumble upon when I'm older? He's older, I'm mm-hmm. gone, you know, is it going to be a bunch of my, you know, selfies on my, no, no knock to any of that, but I'm right. just saying for me to him, I want to be able to give right. depth into what, I didn't have growing up, you know, I'm a first generation Dominican and he is also, Mm -hmm. you know, so what can I do to help someone that's 30 years younger than I am? What could I have learned from someone 30 years older than me at that time, you know, and and that, that's the thing. What are we going to do to take steps forward to achieving the goals that we want to achieve for whatever mm-hmm. reasons those are? It could be literally anything, whatever right. goal you have, whatever right. the goal you have, because right. you feel um, you don't like what you see in the mirror because of whatever reasons you you want to um, go after a business idea and you're scared mm-hmm. for whatever reason. Like now is the time to do it. And if you really take that step forward and that leap of faith you're going to be so much happier come 2021 having learned the lessons now versus later. Yes. Like just start now. Mm -hmm. It's like a, makes me think of like a board game. You can't win the game unless every, every game like has a starting line, Mm -hmm. right? Start here. You you can't even begin to try and win or reach that goal unless you start. Oh yeah. And that's usually the hardest part is starting. And then Mm -hmm. also I just encourage you guys like, When you do get started, if you hit a roadblock or you're just unsure of something, first of all, YouTube is amazing yeah, (laughs) and Google, but there's so much information out there that you can train yourself up on so many things. Pretty much anything. For free. Yeah. Um, But also reach out to your network. Mm. And if you don't have anybody in your network, maybe somebody knows somebody who knows somebody or you can just reach out. 
Like yeah. I was listening to uh, No Snooze the nice. other day. No Shout Snooze podcast. No snooze. Awesome <laughs> podcast. But uh, when they had Brandon on, mm-hmm. he talked about just emailing the, the top 10 people in the field that he wanted to be in mm. and just cold emailing yep. them and getting a response from, from some of Absolutely. them and building these relationships and these mentorships and getting this invaluable information from these experts in what he wanted to go in mm. all because he had the guts to reach out. Absolutely. Yeah. I, that's, I've done the same thing. I, mm-hmm. I can't count the amount of times that's happened to me. Hey, yes. Eddie, I'm brand new at this thing. Yeah. I'm looking to, and how many opportunities I've given just because the person's one, not scared to ask two, mm-hmm. willing to put themselves out there and learn, you know? And, yeah. and if you're, if you, position that the right way you can mm-hmm. end up being so much more forward moving than you think yeah c- come these last 80 days of 2020 absolutely uh yeah. and that reminds me of that um that uh Nip- nipsey hustle mm-hmm. clip we were watching the other day because um because it goes back to that scared thing like is anyone going to listen to me with right. is this worth doing am i going to fail or and there's so many people doing oh, x yeah. y and z that's yeah. kind of like that why should i yeah what's going to make it different right. or and and he, what he said was that he said there's a song that only he can create mm-hmm. because it's only true to him there's there's something out there that only our experiences yes. can tell. There's a story that only our experiences can tell. I'm the only one that has lived in the South Bronx that went to Japan, that went to Korea, that met you in Florida, that marched the cadets. No one has done that besides mm-hmm. Eddie Falcon. You know, there's people that have done things like that, but not right. the, the core I did, the planes that I was on, right. the trains that I've been on, the path that I traveled. Your the, experience is just unique to only you. It's you, it's really mind blowing. Right. When you, when you really about think about it. it. Going back to the whole, there's a bunch of people doing this. Why should I do it thing? Well, aside from you have your, your unique perspective on it. Not everyone resonates with everybody, mm-hmm. you know, so yeah. you might watch a video and totally connect with that person. Love it. Great information. Awesome. You might watch another video. Could be great information, but because you don't connect with that person or oh, personality yeah. or whatever, it's not for you, but it could be for me. Mm-hmm. So, and there's millions and millions of people yeah. watching and or listening, uh, seeing the creativity that's out there. So who's to say that just because you're not for one person, you're going to be for somebody else. Yeah. So th- th- just go for it. Why really? not? Why yeah. not? You know, because there's there's truly nothing stopping you but you. And if mm-hmm. you get internal and really figure that out, it'll dominate the external. Mm. Um, so, yeah. So uh, let's talk about that then, too. So the why and the who, really, because that's the definitions for us. We figured mm-hmm. out why we're doing this and who we're doing this for. And that really honed in our process to be yes. able to figure out what that that path was to get to that goal. Mm-hmm. So the first one is defining what you want and why you want that. Yeah, that's that's huge because you have to hone in on something. You have to go in a direction because a lot of creatives, uh, I know it's very easy to want to go oh, yeah. in so many different directions. Is that a stab towards me? Not yes, at I all. saw you. You guys saw that. You looked at me. Some creatives. Guys, I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Some creatives. But no, really, like, you have to focus on something. Mm-hmm. You have to go in a direction to, to get to where you're trying to go, but you have to know where you're you're trying to go yeah right? and define so. it like literally write that mm-hmm. thing down on paper you know makes um, it more real when you can actually read it oh and yeah see it too and you have to be extremely specific to what that thing is you know whether it's i'm i'm trying to lose a little weight mm-hmm. that can be so vague that all right you lost a half a pound sweet you're done was that your goal right. and, and think about that for a second like and if you are having trouble figuring out what that number is or whatever way you want to define it just think back it what were you ever that weight before? Mm-hmm. When was that? How was that? Is, have you ever looked the way you wanted to look before? And right. if not, look forward. Find find an example. What What is that person? What is that height? What is that weight? What is that mm-hmm. specific look? Not saying it's about looks at all because it could 100% be about health. But we're, right. we're even saying whatever your dreams are, even if it's just looks. Yeah, there's nothing what, wrong with that too. Yeah, there's nothing it's wrong with that. Whatever that thing is, define it so that mm-hmm. you know whether you reached it or not. So it could be right. more specific, more timely, and more achievable at the same time. Yeah. Next thing is define who it's for. Now, mm. this is a big one, and it could get a little deep, but it, I recommend just kind of zooming out a little bit and just 
really thinking about what it is you want that feeling to be at the very end of this mm -hmm. and who do you want that to enjoy that feeling with right. you know so for us i know it is us partly it's for us mm -hmm. you know each other um but also it's for our future you know um not necessarily we don't have children, but we do have a lot of nieces and nephews, a lot of family, a lot of younger family as well that we yeah. are kind of role models for, you know, a lot of younger students. And there's always been this thing in the back of our heads of what are we going to leave behind, whether we're here or not, you know, and this is our right. chance to actually do that, which is a way bigger why that's going to help progress a whole another group of people forward that yes. has nothing to do with us, which is amazing for us. Absolutely. And I just, like you, I want my nieces and nephews to have a better life than I did, mm -hmm. a better path, and just not have to make some of the mistakes that that I, yeah. I have or you Absolutely. have, you know? So just to be able to document it and get over the the idea of like, oh, I don't know, I want to put this out there, what are people going to yeah. think? And just like once you get past that, and it doesn't happen right away, I think it's part of the, the creative process, but you just go for it and do it it's very freeing yeah it's just like who cares yeah it's so freeing especially when you define it and you know who mm -hmm. it's for and why you want it mm -hmm. and what it is it's it becomes yeah. so much more obvious you yeah. know Not, you don't end up looking at the numbers is anyone downloading is anyone checking does anybody right. care what do i want to leave yeah <laughs> my two-year-old nephew right that i wish i knew earlier in my life mm -hmm. whether he uses it or not right. he has access to something that I wish I knew growing right. up. How much further would I be if that Dave Ramsey bug hit me 10 years earlier? Right. I'm at least going to provide the tool to be able to do that for my nieces and nephews. Yeah. You know? that, and that's, that's the point. So <laughs> at the end of the day, it's like, I don't care who's doing anything. I'm good. Mm -hmm. This is all going on a hard drive. That's going to be in some sort of <laughs> plot somewhere <laughs> buried that he's going to be able to dig up and be like, Hey, yeah, you're going to make Eddie. it an adventure too. Oh it's gonna yeah. be like a treasure map. Oh yeah. Ordinance. It's, it's going to be get dope. On flight. To oh yeah. And, there. and that's the thing. Here's a little bit of this money. <laughs> Go fly over here. Meet me in Dubai. You'll open the next thing, man. It's going to be awesome. awesome. Yeah. And that's the thing. What experience are you trying to create? What's the point of it all? You know, right. and, and that's, again, there's another whole other episode all about <laughs> this, For folks. Sure. We're going to get deep. Um, but that was oh the first two things. First yeah. thing is defining what you want and why you want it. Mm -hmm. The second thing is define who it is for, yourself, yeah. your family, whoever. Mm -hmm. Next is writing it down. We mentioned that yeah. a little bit, but if you want to go a little bit deeper yeah, about so writing it on paper. Uh, writing it on paper kind of brings it to life mm -hmm. and taking the next step above that would be having some sort of vision board, which we've talked about and that could be a whole other episode as well, but yeah. just let us know if you want us to do that yeah, down below. That'd be for great. Sure. Yeah. It's, it's something that I think is kind of one of those things that, it cl oh, it's cliche, like, oh, you have a vision board, but no, like it's, uh, it's a real thing. If you do the research, all the successful like insanely successful people visualize yep. and, and take that time. So you can just create a, a, a small little vision board. There's plenty of videos and things on how to do that, but what are your goals? What do you want to achieve? And, and put those things on the vision board. If it's having a better body, maybe find the, the body type that that's your goal and put your head on it. Like mm -hmm. it sounds silly, but if you can actually see it and then it can become more real it's, oh, it's yeah. more attainable you like speak it into existence yeah you know, that's the whole abracadabra thing as right. i speak i create mm -hmm. you know and it's uh, we're firm believers of that if you if you want something to come into existence it can't just live in your mind yes mm -hmm. it has to be in your mind first yes it absolutely starts in your mind. it yeah. starts in your mind that's how mm -hmm. we start creation but if you look yeah. around everything comes from the mind everything comes mm -hmm. from a broken down tiny little micro thought yeah. And once those things are built upon, they made this table, this paper, this roadcaster, this mm -hmm. record player, this computer, this light. Every single thing comes from a broken down thought. And those thoughts written down end up c accumulating, compounding, and becoming what we know is our world today. So don't be afraid to write those things down. Right. The vision board is huge, too. We're going we're gonna to have to do a whole other yeah, episode we'll, about we'll, that. Yeah, we'll do that. But it's really important. And the last thing is taking action. You know, And that sounds... <laughs> simple <laughs> yeah that's the hardest part it's not easy yeah. and there's a very big difference between simple and easy mm -hmm. take action just go do it yeah go literally just go work out yeah that's the that's the answer right right, <laughs> right. but i like it but but it's, it's but it's a little deeper than that you mm -hmm. know it's it's 
taking action consciously. You know, it's getting up when the alarm goes off. It's getting out and going to the gym. It's not thinking about it. And that's the difference, right? Mm -hmm. Between just that being a thought and you actually physically taking action, you writing it down. That writing it down is your first step of action. You know, as right. you taking it out of your mind and putting it down on paper, whether it's mm -hmm. a sticky note or a sheet of paper, put it somewhere that you can actually see it and take that action, whatever right. that thing is, write that thing down, right, right next to it. What am I going to do to take action on that step? Mm -hmm. And if you don't take action, it's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. Like you can think about it. You can stare at it on a vision board all you want, but if you don't actually continue to take action steps further than that it's uh, it's not gonna happen yeah it, do, it doesn't end up mattering mm -hmm. you know even if it, even if you write it down and then l put that paper somewhere you never see it again yeah i've yeah. done that absolutely done that plenty of times. and i guess that's why i'm bringing it up yeah. because we've done that and we've learned the hard way when we mm -hmm. open that drawer again it's like ah that would have been nice right. oh man where would i be now if i just had blank mm -hmm. or oh this is really good i should look at this more often yeah <laughs> like a goals yeah. book or yeah. something yeah there's all sorts of things like that so mm -hmm. just to go through the four things one more time it's defining what you want and why mm -hmm. define who it's for whether it's yourself your family etc write it down and put it on paper make sure you can yeah. see it put it somewhere you can see it often yeah and take action another tiny little bonus step for the taking action Find an accountability partner mm -hmm. or partners. You know, mm -hmm. I just I just group text a few of my friends on Instagram right now. It's like, hey, between now and Christmas, I'm really looking for some accountability partners. Not trying to make anything public. I'm just really trying to f have a focus group. So when I'm feeling off, you guys can get me back up. Or when mm -hmm. I haven't checked, then you guys can check in on me. And right. everyone's on board. Everyone's about it because we all have our own goals, you know, and we all going to keep each other accountable. It's not just about me. It's about what we can do for each other to yeah. move those goals iron forward. Iron sharpens iron. And mm. You know, if you yeah. if you uh, fall and somebody's there to help you up, you're 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 good. But if you fall by yourself, like yeah, what if you break your ankle? Trouble, yeah, Thanks. yeah. Yeah. So it's always it's always great to have those accountability partners, those people with with a like mindset. Um, that just whatever it is that you're doing, like that support can be really really huge, especially mm -hmm. like starting a, a a new project too. Yeah. Like. Yes, you can do so many things on your own, but if you have somebody who yeah. uh, can be there with you and you both have your, your different strengths to make one giant bowl of awesomeness, I'm not going to say gumbo, <laughs> but it, it's it's so cool to be able to, you know, shout out to you, <laughs> really, like it's so cool to have that collaboration and uh, work together to see something come to light so i'm not saying that you you can't do it alone because you can do plenty of things by yourself totally. but if if it's something that you know even if it's just advice like if you want to get advice from a friend that has expertise in this certain area do it you know don't yeah. be afraid to ask those questions because those questions are what's going to help you move closer to, to what you're trying to achieve. Yeah. Worst case, go to YouTube, go yeah. to Google. Uh, like we learn a lot yes. from those resources. But and find multiple yeah. <laughs> different people yeah. to, you know, don't just believe the first thing that, that it's you a community, do. you know, yeah. so you have to do, yeah. you have to do your homework. It's mm -hmm. not just a one and done. What does this person think? Right. Let's go do that. Right. Uh, <laughs> you'll find yourself doing yes. that. A lot of what you don't want to do. Yeah. Um, so that's this episode, folks. Take action on your passion and do mm. not procrastinate. Now is the time to do it. You got 80 days yes. to the end of the year. What yeah. could you do in 80 days? Think about think about your a drum course summer or anything. Mm -hmm. Anything you've done for 80 days. You know, a summer away from home. Uh, how much time that can be, but also how quick it goes by. Yeah, once like you're there. the time is going to pass anyway. What so you if you do? don't start yeah it's 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 what yeah. are you gonna do instead what are you really gonna do instead react mm -hmm. react to society react to the community react to the news react right. to the election what can we control yeah and, and control that yes and you can also control voting so yeah vote. I had to go through that in there yeah. do your do your part but also you know i encourage you guys not to get caught up yes. in everything that's going on yeah. out there um there's just so many things and and it's really when you stop and and zoom out it's like what is going on it really yeah. is like a, a a movie yeah it's really interesting um so i think for us at least to to be in a good headspace we kind of have to you know we do our research and whatever but 
if you're living 24 hours a day in that movie, oh. yeah, exactly. <laughs> you're you're gonna be stressed out. You're gonna be yeah. anxious. You're gonna be scared. Um, yeah. So you have to create your own movie. You know, like mm-hmm. Joe Rogan says, ah. you got to be the hero of your own movie. I love you that. know. So yeah. what are you gonna do to be that main character? And what do right. you want? What do you want it to be? What do you want that 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 actual peak to be at the end of the year? For sure. So what are you guys gonna do? 80 days what are you gonna do comment like let us know dm us reach out like i would love to know yeah what your goals are or what's a task that you've been putting off for two years that you're gonna finally tackle and get off of your chest i'm just yeah yeah, i'd love to know or just let us know what's been on the back burner because we still have tons of stuff on the back Mm -hmm. burner on our list we just brought one of those things forward and we plan on doing another thing and another thing and another thing so don't put (laughs) Word of warning, do not put everything on the front because yeah. it's not going to work yeah. and you're just going to feel like a failure, honestly, right. at the end of it. So just pick something, make a nice, awesome bowl of awesomeness, like Paula mm-hmm. said, and really define those things, what it is, who it's for, yep. write, write it, it down, down, and take some action. Yep. So thank you guys. Until next time, keep taking steps to level, level up, up your life. life. Thanks for listening to the Mind, Body, and Pockets podcast. Subscribe to us on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you like to listen to podcasts. We're also on Instagram and Facebook at Mind, Body, and Pockets. We put a bunch of content up there, so you're definitely going to want to check it out. Thanks so much for the support, and as always, keep taking steps to level up your life.